Mufulira, hallelujah. Yawile ni. Yawile ni lesa. Give the Lord a shot. Oh, yeah. Yahweh, Lady. O poço, Shayesu. O pepe, la Yesu. O awama, Yesu. O poço, Yesu. Takwaba uwabanga imwe amaka ya chila fiance uposu sha Yesu upepe la Yesu uawama Yesu uposha Yesu takwaba uwabanga imwe amaka ya chila fiance. Mushina lia kwa Yesu, twali pola. Lift up your right hand and say Amen. Twali pola. Mushina lia kwa Yesu, twali palwa. Mushina lia kwa Yesu, twali chifia. Mushina lia kwa Yesu, twali fimbwa. Mushina lia kwa Yesu. Jesus, sing with me. Jesus, I'm a kachila. Yeah, Jesus, 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 I'm a kachila. Yeah, Jesus, lift up your right hand and sing Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Mushina le kwa Yesu, twa li fimbwa. Yesu, Yesu, amaka ya chila. Lift up your hands and see Yesu. Tuami pala, tuami lumba, lesa Yesu. Tuami pala, tuami pala, tuami lumba, lesa Yesu. Tuami pala, tuami pala, tuami pala, tuami pala. Tuami 
pala toi mille pala Yawilani Na papa ta umfweni Na gon kwa te fiance Mono chalo Iliona lufia Yesu Na lufia fiance Dina Yesu Dina fiance Ali wa ma pa fiance Il y en a Lufia Yesu, na Lufia fiancé, Dina Yesu, Dina fiancé, Aliwa Baba fiancé, Dina Yesu, Dina Yesu, Dina Yesu, Dina Yesu, Dina fiancé, Oh Yesu, Lesa Yesu, Aliwa Baba. Come on and sing with me, Dina Yesu, Dina Yesu, Dina Yesu, Dina Yesu, Dina fiancé, oh Yesu, let's say Yesu, Aliwa Baba fiancé. Yesu abu mile umulu le sonde fiance fiakwe ni fumu Yesu ni kabuma aliwa ma pa fiance dina Yesu lift up your hands and say dina Yesu dina fiance oh Yesu let's say Yesu. Aliwa ma pia, lesa Yesu. Aliwa ma, lesa Yesu, lesa Yesu, lesa Wandi, lesa Ome, Uwa Wama, lesa Yesu, lesa Yesu. your seats and let's welcome the anointed Ida. Anointed Ida Mkwai. Jesus is the answer for the world today above him there's no other jesus is the way jesus is the answer for the world today above him there's no other jesus is the way if you have some questions in the corners of your mind traces of discouragement peace you cannot find reflections of your past they seem to face you every day but this one thing i do know that jesus is the way hey, jesus is the eye for the world today above him there's no other Jesus is the way Jesus is the answer for the world 
world today above and past no other Jesus is the way I know you've got mountains you think you cannot climb I know that your skies are dark you think the sun won't shine in case you don't know the word of God is true and everything he's promised he will do it for you that's the reason I say Jesus is the answer for the world today above him there's no other Jesus is the way Tonight, it's a great night. Tonight is a night of visitation from the Lord. I don't know about you, but I'm expecting something great tonight. And I know you are expecting it too. The Lord is moving in our midst. The man of God is bringing the word with power. With healing. With miracles. Please stand to your feet. And let's welcome oh, the evangelist. with God. For with God, nothing is impossible. It's not possible to be impossible. And with God, every promise shall come true. For we know surely all things. Everybody lift up your hands. I expect a miracle, expect a miracle. I expect a miracle today. Nothing is impossible to those who believe and say. I believe God's word is still the same. I expect a miracle. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Father, thank you for tonight in Bufilira. Thank you for your power. Thank you for miracles. Thank you for people that are set free from the devil tonight. Thank you for curses that are broken tonight. Thank you for breakthroughs in every area. We love you, Jesus. Thank you that you are visiting the town of Mufilira. Jesus, thank you for your blood your salvation and your mercies. Reach out, O oh Lord, to every single soul here tonight by your mighty power in the name of Jesus. 
Let the powers of darkness be arrested tonight in Le Jesus' name. We banish from this place all forms of evil. We arrest wickedness. We bind it tonight in the name of Jesus. By the blood of the Lamb we are protected. And we are delivered from every evil in Jesus name Satan I rebuke you go 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 in the name of Jesus lift your hand and thank God for a blessing that has come, blessing that has come into this city in amen amen God bless you you may be seated Wow. wow. We are excited to be here with you in Mofilera. And um, I want to first of all thank the chairman of the board of trustees of the Healing Jesus campaign. And all the pastors of this great city. God bless you for welcoming us into your city. If you had not welcomed us, we could not come here. And I pray that after this campaign, the church in Bufulira is going to be ten times stronger. Na pepa. Amen. We also want to thank our dear mayor uh, for gracing this occasion with his presence. And uh, also the district commissioner. We are always grateful for the support of the government. In the work of God. We invite you to come again tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last day. You'll be blessed. Two blessings. May God establish your seat. You. In Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you ready to be delivered from the works of the devil in your life? In these two nights, whatever is molesting you is broken from your life in Jesus' name. Whatever followed you to this crusade? I said, whatever followed you here? That has been tormenting you. It's not going back home with you in the name of Jesus. Whatever makes people feel sorry for you. And people to say sorry. sorry. Tonight marks the end of that thing in your life. In the name of Jesus. Receive this prophecy in the name of Jesus. In these two nights. God is setting you free. Tonight my preaching message is very simple. I am the way, the truth, and the life. John chapter 14 and verse 1. Your one chapter 14 and verse 1. Let not your heart be troubled, Jesus said. Don't be anxious. Believe in God and believe also in me. Kristu ati ile imitima yenu isaka mikwa. Chetekele ni muli lesa. Lelo mchetekele na muli ine. There are some people who believe in God.
but not in Jesus. Some people say, how can God have a son? Who is his mother? That's why Jesus said, don't let your heart be anxious. Believe in God. Believe also in me. If you don't believe in Jesus, you cannot see God. Verse 2. In my father's house, there are many mansions. If it was not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. Jesus said, in my father's house, there are many mansions. Do you know why I came to Muvulira? Do you know why I came to Muvulira? I want to make sure that you are going to be in one of those mansions. Now, it's not only in his father's house that there are many mansions. In the hell also, there are many sections. Yes. It's not only in the nice house that there are many rooms. There are houses that are not good and not nice that also have many rooms. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself so that where I am, you may be also. Now, what we don't realize is that God did not send Jesus Christ to make us rich. You know, today when you go to church, we hear a lot about money and prosperity and riches. It is as though that's the reason why God sent Jesus Christ into the world. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should be very rich and travel to London and America with a lot of cars and houses. Hey! Hey! You see, your life on earth is very short. Jesus said that where I am, because right now, Jesus was on this earth 2,000 years ago, but right now, he is somewhere watching me, talking to you. And he says that where I am, which is in heaven, you may also be there in a few years. You see, in about 50 years, most of us here will not be alive. I'm not cursing you, but if you like, calculate your age. Add 50 to your age and see whether you will be here in 50 years from now.
So Jesus is concerned about eternity where you will be in 50 years, in 90 years, yes, in 70 years. Asaka meni umuya yaya wenu. Eko muka bapanu Miami aka 50, 70 na nguna inte. When my father was alive, he told me something that I always remember. Do you want to hear what my father told me when? Are you sure you want to hear what my father told me? I'll tell you. My father is dead now, but he, I always remember. And it happened. He said to me one day, he said, the way you spend the first 25 years of your life will determine the way you spend the next 45 years of your life. That's what my father told me. Wow. The way you spend the first 25 will determine the way you spend the next 45. 25 plus 45 is equal to 70. If you have to go to the if you have to go to the you have to go to the calendar, and it's true. When I was 25, by 25, I was a pastor and I was a medical doctor. Yes. By 25, I was a pastor and then I was also a medical doctor. And it has affected the rest of the years, I'm not yet 70, but it has affected the rest. Yes. Now, what Jesus is saying is even higher than what my father said. What Jesus is saying that the way you spend the first 70 years will determine where well, you spend the next 10 thousands of thousands of years to come. Right now as I speak, carpenters are working on your mansion in heaven. Carpenters and electricians are connecting light to your new house. How many are going to the mansion that Jesus has prepared for you? Some of you want to go to Lusaka. Lusaka ah. ah. cannot compare with heaven. What is Lusaka? Some of you want to go to London. You want to go to America. In heaven, the streets are made of gold. You walk in. In heaven, when you sweep the floor, the rubbish is gold. The <laughs> it's gold. When you sweep, when you sweep, the rubbish you collect is gold. Hey! All these mining people, they wish they could come to heaven. Heaven, we don't need mines. The gold is on top. So God is going to prepare a place for So I hope you go there. Because Jesus told a very disturbing story. He said a certain man made a great supper and invited a lot of people. But when he invited them, one of them said that he has got, he has bought five yoke of oxen, which is like he has bought a new car. So he cannot come. Another one said he's bought a new land. In Mufulira and Ch Chingola. Mm. So he cannot come. Another one said he's got a beautiful new wife. Hey! hey! So because of that, he cannot come to the party. 
Atila kumuso nkano bonze ba pele mina ndu ya lekana lekana Na ukutila pamula ndu wa ifiteti tuisa ifwe And this great feast was there and the man was in his house And there were few people to eat the food And he had made so much food Umutebe to ukala mbele wa itilwe so the master said, Go out and bring cripples with crutches. Look for blind people. Look for people in wheelchairs. And let them come. These proud people whom I made the party for, none of them are going to eat this supper. I hope, I hope that those of you in Mufulira for whom God has been building mansions, putting carpenters and electricians and plumbers to work for you for your mansion in heaven, I hope one day you will get there. It will be a glorious day. The day you arrive in heaven and you come to your mansion, you will not believe it. You know, one day a pastor told a story which I realized it's like it touched my heart. You know, this pastor was a, a, a boy in a church. He didn't have a house. So he used to sleep in the church in the night. His toilet was a church toilet and he would bath there and he sleeps. At the, in the back of the church, the pastor allowed him to sleep there. He grew up and he was a serious Christian and one day he also became a pastor. And he became a man of God. And one day, he applied for a visa to America. And he was given the visa. Some people invited him to preach in America. When he got to America, they took him to a beautiful hotel. Hey! Hey! He said, I have never seen such a place. When he entered the room, the carpet was white. White carpet. The bed was white. The bathroom was fantastic. Hey. Hey. He touched the bed. He touched with his hand. It was soft, made of beautiful feathers. So when the visitors took him and it was, he entered his room and it was time to sleep, he knelt down and he said, Oh God, this place is too fantastic for me. Look at me, I used to sleep in the church. I have no house. Today, look at the nice place you brought me. So, you know what he did? He said, The place is too nice for him to sleep. So, he said, Oh God, I give you the bed as an offering. <laughs> and he slept on the floor so that God should have the bed. It was too beautiful for him. Oh. When you get to heaven, I said, when you get to heaven, it's going to be too beautiful for you. You say me? From Muvulira? Zambia? Zambia? Copper Belt? Me? Dine. And the angel will say, yes, you. Wow. wow. 
One day, a certain lady, a rich woman, she was a Christian. She died and she went to heaven. And her house help her mate also died. But her mate died before she died. So when she got to heaven, the angel said, welcome, you are welcome. And the angels took her and said, we are going to your house. They were driving. Beautiful houses. Passing by many. So this rich lady, I don't know whether she was from Zambia or Zimbabwe, but she was she was very excited for her own house that she has not yet seen. Then they came to some barracks. Do you know barracks? Like long houses with beds. Dormitories. One bed here, one bed here, one bed here, one bed here, up and down, up and down, up and down. Then the angels took her, entered the place. So many other people were there. The angel said, this is your house. She, she was in heaven, so she has to be polite. Hey. <laughs> so when the angel was going, she went out with the angel. And she asked the angel, Are you sure? This is my house. <laughs> The angel said, this is your house. This is, your name is here. So she said, what about my maid? My maid. And then the angel, oh, your maid? Your maid is here. And she pointed to a very beautiful big house. Then the lady said, but that's not fair. She's my maid. Why should she have such a big house? And I'm staying with so many strangers. I don't even know where they are from. I'm from Zambia. I don't know whether they are from Nigeria or from Ghana or from... I don't know where they are from. Hey! Hey! There were Chinese and other people in the in the in the barracks. And the angel told her, "You, when you were on earth, you were not you were not a serious Christian. When they were going to church, you were not taking it seriously. When it was time for offering, you used to come and put. Everybody thought you were giving much, but your house help. She would take all her salary." And come to the house of God and honor God. She gave everything she had. She so, really served God. Hey. Hey. And the angel said to her, Get back there, go and make your bed. Hey. Hey. How many of you are going to go to the barracks of heaven or you are going to the mansions in heaven? Which one? What is, how do you say barracks or uh, dormitories? Midadada. Midadada. Yes, sir. Midadada. Yes, sir. Hey! hey! Are you going to Midadada? But how do you say mansion, palace, beautiful? Kumayati. 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 How many are going to Kumayati in heaven? (laughs) 
All right. Let us continue reading the Bible. Verse 4. Verse four. And whither I go, you know, and the way you know. And Thomas said unto him, Lord, we don't know where you are going. Where are you going? How can we know the way? And Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No man cometh to the Father except he comes through me. Tonight I present to you Jesus Christ the only way to heaven. Is the only way. You cannot be go to heaven by being born in Zambia. Every town I go, they tell us that this is a Christian nation. Let me tell you, my friend, you do not become a Christian by osmosis. How do you say osmosis? Hey. You cannot impart Christianity to somebody. I cannot say, receive it. You are a Christian. No. Wow. You see, I am a medical doctor. I suffered in university for seven years. To become a doctor. I have children. But I cannot call my child and say, Receive doctor. No! No! My child has to go himself to university. He has to suffer himself in university. He has to do the examinations I did. I cannot call him. I cannot call him and say, Receive. Look at it. You can't just receive being a doctor. Jesus said, I am the way. Many years ago, I found Jesus as my savior. You see, some people are going the way of religiosity, being religious. Zambia is a religious nation. Religious people doesn't mean that they are good people. If you are religious, it doesn't mean that you go to heaven. The people who crucified Jesus Christ were religious people. Jesus was crucified by pastors and Pharisees. All thieves that night, all armed robbers and thieves were sleeping, but pastors were killing the Son of God. Hey! Pastors had come together to kill God. Thieves, prostitutes had finished serving their customers. They were snoring, prostitutes. <laughs> I 
armed robbers were snoring, they were resting. Religious people rose up and crucified the Son of God. Let me warn you tonight, being religious will not take you to heaven. You must be born again. You must receive Jesus as your personal savior. You must repent from your sins. Or you will go straight down to hell. No matter who you are. <laughs> uh, God cannot be bribed with 500 kwacha. You cannot <inaudible> give God <inaudible> you cannot give God 500 kwacha and say, please, this is my brother, let him come into heaven, please. <inaudible> Religious, but not born again. Religious, but not really Christians. I am the best example of that. Oh, I used to go to church on Sundays. You, you have to go because in, our, in Ghana you go to church. But I did not. I was even baptized. I was confirmed. I had received a Bible and a hymn book. At birth. I had one Bible, one hymn book. It was in the Word. But I was not born again. Then one day I went to. One day I, you see, I started to ask myself whether I would go to heaven. And I was so sure, so I went to see my priest. My priest told me, if I want to go to heaven, I should take, I said I should take, I should say our father once and Hail Mary three every day. It's like Panadol two and chloroquine, I don't know what medicine you have here, three, chloroquine, three and two Panadol. So he told me, one hour father, three Hail Marys, you go to heaven. Hey. So from that day, I started every morning, when I wake up, one chl chloroquine, three Panadol. So one hour father, Three Hail Marys. So I said, Our Father, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be there. I knew how to say it very fast. Hey. One day, I went swimming in the beach, the sea. And a tsunami, something like a tsunami. You know, tsunami. The waves were very high came to the beach. The wave was as high as this uh, ceiling. Yeah, I could swim, but that day, the wave was like this. Hey. And I was under the water like this. I was trying to come out. It was very strong. That was the day I knew this today I'm going to die. No. Then I remembered my priest, what he said. I started, our father. Was, I was not sure whether I have taken it this morning already. Our father, which are in heaven, hello. I will be done on earth as it is. Fact, give us this day. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with you. Blessed are thou. Hail Mary, full of grace. Hey! Hey! As I was just about to drink the water, I came out. That was the first time. 
I almost died. And I saw I was either going to heaven or hell. I, I would have gone straight to hell. You cannot go to heaven by saying, Our Father, well, even you can program your computer and press play. It will be playing it uh, one and three for you. Jesus is the way to heaven. Not our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. You have to know Jesus as your Savior. You must be born again. You can't just be a religious person living anyhow. You see, you are calling the name of Christ, but you don't live like a Christian. If Christianity was being practiced properly, you will not have HIV spread like it is spread. Yeah. Because you will, see, you will have even virgins. There will be virgins in the country. Virgins, virgins. Nowadays we don't have virgins. Hey. Hey. You see them wearing white dresses for weddings. But you should be wearing leopard spots for weddings. Really. Hey. Hey. And meanwhile, we are saying the ones that we are Christian nation. Jesus said, Yes, what did? You must be born again. Jesus is the way. Yes, the truth. And the life. Nobody is going to go to heaven. You cannot go to heaven by serving idols. Hey. Do you have idols in Mufulira? Leviticus chapter 26 verse 1. We na Levi it says, you shall make no idols nor graven image, nor rear up a standing image. Neither shall you set up any image of stone in your land to bow down to it, for I am the Lord your God. Yatila, mwi kapange firu wi imbiri fionse, ifi akubasa, nangule fia mabwe, no kufimi kamuarafi pepa, pantu ine, it's a curse. The Bible says in Exodus chapter 20, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or likeness of anything that is flying in the heavens or that is on the earth or that is in the water under the earth. I am the Lord. Tonight, God is angry with all those who worship idols. If I took a cockroach or a crab, which animal do you have here? Or a scorpion. And I took a picture of it and I put under your president's name. And I said, this is the president of Zambia. Is it good? Is it not an insult? Hey. So if you take Almighty God and you take an animal, an antelope, 
Imbombo. Or a le- leopard. Or a lion. Or a crab. And you say, this is God. This is God. Is it not an insult? God is angry with all those who worship stones, rivers, gods. There is no other God but our God. And tonight, you must turn away from all types of idols and witchcraft and what do you call it here? What is Juju here? What is the name of Uboloshi? Uboloshi. Uboloshi. Yes, sir. Yes. You know, one day I went to a town to preach and in front of a house there was something in front of the house. So I said, what is this? They said, it's a spiritual policeman who is looking after the house. Instead of taking God and his angels to look after you, tonight, Jesus is the only way. Yes, when Shila. Jesus is the way. Yes, when Shila. Religion is not the way. Witchcraft and idols is not the way. There is only one way. Jesus said, I am the way. How many want to go to heaven? Are you sure? Are you sure you want to go to heaven? Ah, then you need Jesus Christ. And Jesus is knocking at the door of your heart. Because Jesus must be inside your heart. If you are going to go to heaven, you need Jesus. Because Jesus has the way. Now, number. Being religious and doing righteous works is not the way. Because you are already a sinner. You need Jesus. He's the only way. Without Jesus, I don't know how you can go to heaven. Because your sins are so many. How many here are sinners? Are there sinners in Mufulira? Wow. Wow. If you are here and you are a liar, raise up your hand. All, li- all liars. All liars in the stadium, lift up your hand. Hey. hey! How many here have told more than 100 lies before? What about the pastors? Even the mayor has accepted that he has told a lot of lies before. Wow! But the Bible says that no liar shall go to heaven. No No liars in allowed in heaven. How many of you are thieves? All thieves, raise your hand. You will not raise it. Okay. How many of you have stolen something before? If you have stolen, at the back. If you have stolen something before, raise your hand. What about on the stage? Even the mayor has raised up his hand. If you steal something, what are you? If you steal something, what are you? A thief. All thieves. All thieves, raise up your hand. What about on stage? All tips. 
So what do we have in Mufulira? What are the two things we have in so Mufulira? Liars and thieves. Who has, who has been jealous before in Mufulira? Jealousy. Jealousy. What is that? Jealousy, sir. Kanonga Evo. Kanonga Yemo. Kanonga Yemo. Kamonga Evo. Kamonga Yebo. Yes, sir. Kamonga Yebo, lift up your hand. What about on the stage? Kamonga Yebo. Hey. Hey. What do we have in Mufulira? Liars, thieves, jealous. Wow. How many have committed fornication before sleeping with somebody is not the husband or wife? This one, some of you must raise up two hands and your legs. <laughs> Lift up your hand and let us see all over. What about the pastors? <laughs> too bad, too bad. Now listen, Shh. how can such a group of people go to heaven? Yes. How? How can you go to heaven? There are no thieves in heaven. There are no liars in heaven. What can remove your sins? That is why Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the way to heaven. I am the truth. I am the one who will give you life. So the day that he died, he took a cup and he lifted up the cup and he said, this is my blood. You see, this is my blood. You see, Jesus had his blood in him. And he said, this is my blood. Which is shed. For the forgiveness. The remission. Of the sins. All your sins. All your sins. All your sins. All your sins. This is the blood. The blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why Jesus said, I am the way. I am the way. I am the only way. Because no one else forgives you for your sins. Nothing else can wash away your sins. Hallelujah. Amen. This is my blood, which is shed for the forgiveness of everybody. And tonight, God sent me to you. There is nothing that can wash away your sins. Nothing. The mayor cannot forgive you. The chairman of the pastors cannot forgive you. I cannot forgive you. Nothing can forgive you for what you have done. Only one thing. This blood. The blood of Jesus. That is why we say, what can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus Christ. And tonight, the blood is flowing from Calvary. The blood is flowing to this stadium to wash every sin, all your lies, all your stealing, all your fornication, all your witchcraft, your idol worship, every wicked thing. This is the blood. Look very carefully at my hand. God sent me to invite you to come 
to the cross. Jesus is the way. This is the truth. This is the way to life. Jesus Christ, the Savior, is not automatic. No. No. The Bible tells us about a rich man who went to hell. I am sure he had a church. There are many rich people in hell. There are many Zambians in hell. All nations have people in hell. And God loves you so much that he sent me to speak to you about this blood. Tonight, this is the only way. You ask me, why will I come here? You know where I came from? I come from Ghana. Very far. Ha, I didn't come to bring you money. No, 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 no. I came to warn you. Jesus said, I'm going to prepare a place for you. If you joke with what I'm saying tonight, you will go, str- you will go straight to hell. And you'll be shocked at what will happen to you. Tonight, you must humble yourself and bow down to Jesus Christ. You know, I know what a person, he was a Methodist, but he was he did not know Jesus. Listen carefully. Satan doesn't want you to hear what I'm saying. Satan does, he wants to distract you so you don't hear what I'm saying. There was a man. He was a Methodist. He died, had a fever. And he died. He descended. Once he was descending, he was shouting, I am a Methodist. I'm a Christian. But he was not. If you sit in a garage, you say, I am a car. You are not a car. You cannot sit in a church and say, I'm a Christian. But when the creature was about to pull him into hell, there was a voice. Release him. And he came back. Some years later, I led him to Jesus. He told me, he said, it is the most frightening thing that ever happened. When a religious person goes to hell, it is very surprising. You can't believe it. Because you didn't really know Jesus. Tonight, I'm presenting to you the blood of Jesus. If you believe and you receive, you will be born again. And you will have Jesus the way, the truth, the life to give you life tonight. That is why Jesus said, this is my blood. Tomorrow, I am going to shed my blood for the whole world. That blood is working tonight. There is power here tonight. Power to save you. Power to write your name in the book of life. Power to wash away your sins. Power to rescue you from hell. There is power tonight. And that power is here. If you want the blood of Jesus to wash away your sins and you want your name to be written in the book of God, then stand up. Stand up right now. Stand up right now. And lift your hands. If you, if you don't want this, don't lift your hands. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. If you want Jesus to wash out. No one should walk, please. Nobody should walk around, please. If you want Jesus to wash away your sins. 
Your hand must be up. This is the real miracle. This is it. This is it. Say this prayer with me. If your hand is up, if you want your sins to be washed, say, say Jesus. Thank you for tonight. Thank you for tonight. Thank you for today. Thank you for today. Oh God. Oh God. I come to you. I come to you. Just as I am. Just as I am. I am a sinner. I am a sinner. I am a bad sinner. I am a bad sinner. I know myself. Tonight, I humble myself. Please forgive me for all my sins. Oh Jesus, wash me with the blood. The blood of Jesus. Oh Jesus, forgive me Cleanse me with your blood. Tonight, I open my heart. I open my heart. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Come into my heart. Wash me. Change me. Make me a new person. Tonight. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me and cleaning me and washing me tonight with the blood of Jesus. Oh, God, oh, Father, please write my name in the book of life. Please write my name in the book of life. Tonight, my name is, mention your name, my name is, please write this name in the book of life. Tonight, tonight, I am registering in the book of life. Say tonight, I'm registering in the book of life. I am writing my name in the book of life. From tonight, I belong to God. From tonight, I serve God. I am a child of God. From this moment onwards. Lift your hand like this and say, thank you, Jesus. Wave your hand and say, thank you, Jesus, for saving me, washing me, Cleansing me and writing my name in the book of life. Thank you, Lord, for saving me tonight in the name of Jesus. Now lift up only one finger like this, one hand. Everybody just lift up one finger, one hand like this. Say after me. Satan. 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 Listen very carefully. Listen very carefully. From tonight. From tonight. I belong to Jesus Christ. I belong to Jesus Christ. Satan. Satan. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I bind you. I bind you. I bind your power. I bind your power. In my life. In my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Satan. Satan. I reject you. I reject you. I reject you. I reject you. I refuse you. I refuse you. From tonight. From tonight. Satan. Satan. Me and you is over. It's finished. Me and you is over. It's no finished. No more. No more. No more. No more. I belong to God. I belong to God. I belong to Jesus Christ. I am a child of God. I am born again. From this moment. Wave your two hands like this. Say thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. For your blood. I love you Jesus. 
I thank you for saving me tonight. Thank you, Lord, for your power, your mercy, your blood, your goodness to me. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Give the Lord a shout of hallelujah. Wow. Now, if you have your book, lift it up. If you have your book. Wave your two hands. Wave your two hands. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I am born again. I am born again. I will be a strong Christian. I will be a strong Christian. I will serve God. I will serve God. I will follow Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Give the Lord a shout of hallelujah. Wow. To pepe li pepo muchibemba. Ponce fue valefo ocupo que le da Jesu Cristo. Tu y mi ama boco. Tu ti le mue Jesu Cristo. Na isa kuli mue. Ndi mube mbu. Na li mube mbu kila. Munchile shingi. Na munchite shingi. Lesa wandi. Yes. Na papata. Yes. Mbelele ni uluse. Yes. Nsambeni. No mulo pa kwa Yesu. Yesu Christu. Na isu lo mutima wandi. Iseni, ingileni, mpususheni, mpangeni umwana wenu, na totela, pakumbele loluse, na totela, pakumbele mweo, pakufialu wa chipia chipia, kuluse lueno, ubu shikubwale lo, Satana na kukana. Na kana ne mili moyobe yonse. Na kana ne misango yobe yonse. Le kakumwe o andi. Na sala yesu. Ukubomu puzushu andi. Imye ni kwa katabu na kabili. No kukasunka nyo no kutila na tote la mwe yesu. Na tote la paluse lwenu. Na tote la pati kukuchenu. Paku puzushu mwe wendi. Tubili kishe tutile Yesu. Hallelujah. It's time for miracle healing right now. I want everybody to stand please. How many know that Satan's work in your life is finishing tonight? Whatever sickness, problem, whatever sickness or problem you came here with, put your hands on the sickness right now. Something is already happening. Something, no one should walk around, please. This is a holy moment. It's a moment of miracles. Receive it now. Something is happening. Power is being released at this moment. Blind eyes are opening. Jesus is the way. Yes, when Sheila. To healing. To life. To deliverance. From every work of the devil. The Bible says when the demonized people saw Jesus. The demons reacted. They said, I know you. You are the son of God. Tonight. 
The devils that have worked in your life recognize the presence of Jesus. And they are bowing tonight. Pain in your stomach is being healed right now. Devils are coming out. Anyone tormented by an evil spirit, put your hand there right now. If, if you have been tormented by an evil spirit or demons, put your hand on your head right now. Want to pray with you. Everywhere. Father, I thank you that at the sound of the name Jesus, every knee shall bow. I command devils. I say tonight. You are finished. Come out. Come out. Right now. Nobody. Right now. Nobody. Demon powers. I speak to you in the name of Jesus. I say, come out of the people now. It's happening. It's happening. Power all over this place. In the stands, everywhere. Something is happening. Yes, yes, yes. Power is flowing all over this place. Yes, yes. Look, anybody who falls down, screaming, whatever, bring them to me in the front. Here. Come out! Fuma! Come out! Fuma! You are finished. I say you are finished. Powers of wickedness in your life are broken tonight. In the name of Jesus. Everybody pray, 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 pray. Something is happening. Something is happening. Look, just pray in the spirit right now. Bring them here right now. Power is flowing all over this place. Bring, bring this lady here. Put her here. Something is happening. Something is happening. Listen. Everybody lift your hand and bind serpent spirits, snake spirits. There are snake spirits, anaconda, python spirits, viper spirits, wicked devils. Come out in the name of Jesus. You are finished, Satan. Every power of the enemy is broken in the name of Jesus. HIV spirits, fornication spirits, women of Babylon spirits. Mando kapara la mama ndala baba Roma ba poro lo mama ndali baba Marola baba ndala baba ndala le ke ba la Rambo la mashande le ke ba la Rema mama ndala la baba ndala baba Rema la bala 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 Satan I challenge you to come out 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 Everybody pray, otherwise spirit will come from somebody into you. Yes. Yes. You are being set free. Wickedness is broken. Wickedness is broken. Wickedness is broken. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Move your chest back. Move your chest back, please. Something is happening. Anybody falling down or screaming in the stands anywhere? 
bring them to me here. God is setting them free. Power is flowing in this place. Power is flowing. Serpents are sliding out. Quickly. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yes. The woman of Babylon is bound. That has drunk the blood of saints. That has drunk the blood of prophets. We bind the spirit of the woman of Babylon in the name of Jesus. HIV spirits, wicked spirits, lying spirits, fornication spirits. We bind your power in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Mando Kabala. Power is flowing. 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 Jesus. 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 Leave them there. 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 Mando Kabara Lama Mando Lebe Bande Lebe Bande Lebe Bande Now listen. Everybody put your hand on your stomach. I'm going to pray for you. This is the prayer we are praying. Whatever is in you that is not from God. It shall come out tonight. Father, in the name of Jesus, we command evil powers and presences to come out in the name of Jesus, the Savior of the world. Come out, be free. Be loosed. Yes. Yes. Everybody lift your hands. Lift your hands. Thank God for his healing. Deliverance from evil spirits. From evil spirits. Thank God for healing from evil spirits. Now, many people are being healed also. If you are here, you couldn't see. You couldn't walk. You couldn't hear. Whatever problem you have, place your hand there right now. Something is happening. Something is happening. Satan's power is broken in your body now. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Healing. Witches are being arrested tonight in the name of Jesus. Witches are being arrested tonight. Witches. Witchcraft power. Witchcraft power is broken in the name of Jesus. 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 Satan's power is dismissed. Satan is dismissed. I dismiss him. I dismiss him. I dismiss him in the name of Jesus. Every power of witchcraft is cast and broken tonight in Jesus' name. Every woman of Babylon spirit, fornication spirit, spirit of the harlot, harlot spirit, strange woman spirit, we cast it in the name of Jesus. Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Paya pala pala. Paya pala pala. Paya pala pala. Mandora mama. Now receive your healing. Something is happening. No one should move. No one should walk. Unless somebody is being carried here, nobody should walk. But I tell you, the power of God is here. Wherever you are, you couldn't hear. But now you can hear. You couldn't see. You can see that God has done something. Wherever you are, 
If God has healed you, if God has set you free, wherever you are standing, check yourself. If God has healed you tonight, I want you to come to me to the front, to the side here. Walk from wherever you are. Yes. Look at it. Look at it. Serpent spirit. Crocodile spirit and dragon spirit, we bind you in the name of Jesus. If God has healed you, come to the side. I want to pray with you. Quickly, quickly. There is a lot of power here tonight. A lot of power. A lot of power. Wonderful. Yes. Yes. You see, the serpent spirit, it makes them move. It's coming out. 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 Crocodile spirit. Dragons. Yeah, your power is finished. Tonight, Jesus is here. Look at it. Look. Look. Look at it. Satan, you are finished. You are finished. Look at, look at it. Look. Some of the spirits make the women remove their sexual parts. They are all evil spirits. They have drunk the blood of prophets. And drunk the blood of the saints. But tonight is over. Freedom has come to Mufulira. Look at it. Look at it. Freedom has come to Mufulira. The curse is broken in Mufulira. The curse is broken. Look at it. Crutches. If God has healed you, come to the front. Come quickly. Wherever you are. Wherever you are. Wherever you are. Many, many miracles are taking place. Wherever you are, if God has touched you, come. God has healed you. Come to the side. If God has touched you, you need to come here. There is somebody you couldn't see, but now you can see. Who is that? Who is that? Lift, Lift your hand. Over there, look. Over there. Beautiful. And somebody else, you, ha you had a lamp in your breast. But it has disappeared right now. Yes. Who is that? Quickly. Many, many miracles. You had a pain. The pain is gone. Over there. Beautiful. Look at it. Look at that. Miracles are happening. Let them come quickly. Now everybody else, no one should move, please. Don't, don't move. I want to pray for everybody. And, I'll, and I'm going to, 
And I'm going to pray for everybody before we leave. But I want to pray for you now. Right now, put your hand on your heart. I am praying for families. Wherever you are, if God has healed you, come. And, and, and lift your hand. If God has done something for you, let them come quickly. Blind eyes are open tonight. I'm, I'm praying for family. Tonight is just the first night. Tomorrow night, My Lord. I want everybody here to come to this stadium with at least five or ten people from your house. Because tomorrow is the last night. Tomorrow is the last night. We were at Chilabomwe for only one night. But here, we are here for two nights because there is a greater blessing here. Tonight. Tomorrow night, how many are going to come with at least 10 or 5 people from your house? Tomorrow is the last night. Tomorrow night is the last night. Put your hand on your heart. Let me pray for you. Jesus. Yes. Thank you for hearing my prayer. Look at it. It's a snake. Father, I pray for every family. Every heart. Answer the prayers, Father. Heal every disease. Set the people free. When we go back to our houses, whatever was tormenting us in the house let it bow in the name of Jesus let there be peace restore unto us the joy of salvation solve complicated problems in the name of Jesus. I superimpose the peace of God over your family and your house. When you go home, you meet an angel in the house. More angels will be released even tomorrow night. By the power of God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Beautiful.